Whether it's Nerf, paintballs, or just finger guns, we all love running around and pretending to shoot our mates. Let's be honest, you probably spent a decent chunk of your childhood doing just that. Which is why Battle Royale games are doing so well on mobile at the moment. It's like a glimpse into a rose-tinted past, mixed with a violent and potentially victorious glimpse into the future. And since they're all the rage at the moment, we thought it'd be a good idea to break down which of the Battle Royale games on mobile are worthy of your attention. We came up with the following five. Agree? Disagree? Want to try and sell something dodgy and make people click virus-filled links? Let us know in the comments below. You can often tell how well a game is doing by the notoriety that it gains. And right now, Fortnite is the tabloid press's go-to boogeyman game. But Fortnite is successful for a reason, and that reason is, it's really, really good. Sure, it might have borrowed a lot of the formula from the next game on this list, but it added building elements and the extra layers of polish to really make it stand out. It might be cute and colourful on the outside, but the light-hearted exterior doesn't hide the reality. It's a properly competitive, dynamic and multi-layered shooter experience that isn't limited by where you drop or what the map environment is like. The crafting element lets you interact with the world in small but meaningful ways to suit your own playstyle. And the fact that it's genuinely free on every platform only adds to its appeal. I'd recommend you get it, but let's be honest, you're already playing it, aren't you? Here's the old warhorse of the bunch. It wasn't the first to come out on mobile, but essentially PUBG invented the genre that's currently taken over the world. It's every bit as engaging and exciting on mobile as it is on other platforms, and while the controls are a little on the touchy side, there is still a lot to love here. This ain't no cash-in mobile companion app where you look at a map for a bit. This is the full Player Unknown Battlegrounds experience. While it's dressed in more classic military wargame garb than Fortnite, it's still a bit daft, chicken dinners and all. The mobile version not only captures the fun, but also the tension of hiding in a bush for 25 minutes, waiting for that last guy to loom over the horizon. It's not perfect, and you will get disconnected from time to time, but the fact that it works at all on mobile is something of a miracle. Don't let your preconceptions get the better of you. PUBG is a compelling experience on your touchscreen. While the previous games have been ports, this one is built with mobile in mind. Axio takes ideas from its Battle Royale inspirations, but then mixes in some of that IO friendliness to keep things light. That's not to say the violence on show here isn't every bit as tense and exciting as the bigger, louder games we've already mentioned. As God of War proves, chucking axes in people's faces for one-hit kills is rarely not fun. In fact, given its simplicity and basic control scheme, it probably shouldn't be as much fun as it is. But what can we say? There are games out there with more depth, but as far as quick, accessible, pick-up-and-play battle royale fun goes, this one is kind of tough to beat. Battlelands Royale is a more pared-back game even than Axe.io, but for the most part, it works pretty well. The controls are simplified, the battles are even shorter, and you're never going to get into the Daily Mail writing a puff piece about how Battlelands Royale made a kid go crazy. But if you want your Battle Royale action in more bite-sized chunks, here's a game you can actually pick up, start, play and finish within a few minutes. The addition of proper grass cover camouflage is a nice touch, and though you're only dealing with about 40 people rather than 100, it does have the knock-on effect of making the game move at a blisteringly fast pace. It's light, but it's also cute, easily digestible, and well worth a go. And finally, before PUBG and Fortnite even came to mobile, this was the leader of the pack. For all intents and purposes, Rules of Survival is basically indistinguishable from PUBG. There are a few key differences. For example, there's a map here that lets 300 players battle it out to the death rather than a poxy 100. Being the first game means the first one to make mistakes though. We took issue with some of the moving controls, the shooting's a bit awkward, and on a small screen everything's quite tough to read. But it did prove the genre can work on mobile, and it got a decent player base as a result. Subsequent updates have smoothed out some of the rougher edges, and it still manages to capture the tension inherent in the format. We'd recommend first-timers pick one of the other games in this list, but if you've exhausted the other options, there's no harm in giving this one a try. Yeah.